Welcome back families. Today is a cheat day so I'm gonna make something that's not very healthy but it tastes good. So here I've got spam from the can. I'm not sure if you can see. I'll bring it nearer. That's the spam from the can. I'm not sure. Tell me guys, do you do the same? Because when I take out things like that from the uh, uh, can, I normally rinse it, give it a good rinse. I don't like the slimy stuff on it. And I've also got five slices of cheese. Choose whatever cheese that you like. And I've got here steam buns i didn't make this i bought it so this buns you can split in the middle like it's already pre-split oh it's not easy to show anyway I, I might have to cut it because it's all stuck together and i've got three eggs here and i'm going to use some milk sometimes when they're so stuck you just slide with the knife use a serrated knife so it doesn't cut through and be gentle you can lift it i can make this bun but my daughter bought it so i thought i'll make good use of it she wants me to make something for the cheat day And pour quarter cups of milk. Heat up oil for frying so on a high heat to smoking point and let's whisk the egg. That will do. We're gonna slice the cheese so bring it all together. Okay, go triangle. So it's triangle. And also we're gonna slice some ham. Slice it a bit thick. Hope you can see it. Open up like that. Don't open fully insert that whatever that's hanging just break it or you can cut it with the scissors if you have i'll just break it like that back inside and you put a piece frame inside like that okay that's how it should look to make it easier what you can do is just chop the corners off like so and you can reuse those corners if you can't open up just open up fully so long you don't break it in awkward um places so i'll say if that's okay that's a clean break and that's that's okay so you can put the cheese like that. You can put just the leftover in there. This is just the end bits. Take that, slide that on top, and you put another piece on top and just close it like that. What I forgot is I have to add one third of cup of flour. I'm adding plain flour. Okay. And whisk that. To stop from being lumpy mixture, use a strainer. Get it of all the lumps. Dip it into the flour, into flour mixture, egg mixture. Make sure it's coated properly and gently drop it into the a couple of minutes later just flip it like that. It should be lightly golden brown and you will have all these. That's okay. That tastes nice once it's cooked. So you can see that's been fried and we're gonna cut it now. That's how it's supposed to look. It is so good. By itself or it can drizzle some mayonnaise on it. Hit the subscribe button, like and comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all the subscribers and viewers.